Hello friends, it's your coach, it's your host, AJ Sims. I'm back at you again with another episode of the Kingdom Build Podcast. On today's episode, we're gonna be diving into your favorite topic. And it was polled on my broadcast channel on Instagram, so I know it's your favorite topic. That is fat loss tools, fat loss agents, fat loss as a whole. You guys love to talk about being shredded, being ripped, being lean year round. How is it maintainable? How is it sustainable? And how can we figure out what tools in the proverbial toolbox to use as our fat loss aids? Now that's assuming your diet is on point. That's assuming your total daily energy expenditure is on point, consistent, adherent, and executed the way that it needs to be. That's assuming your blood work is where it needs to be, your gut health, your sleep hygiene, and all those things that facilitate first and foremost and to be able to burn fat efficiently, these fat burning aids that you're gonna hear throughout this podcast and by the end of this episode, you will have a great understanding on what to use, when to use it, and why you're using it. You're not gonna wanna miss this, stay tuned. All right, guys, so like I said at the top of the episode, we're diving into fat aids, fat agents, fat loss supplements and tools all around and all alike. First one we're going to get into is L-carnitine. Injectable L-carnitine is phenomenal for the transportation of fatty acids into the mitochondria, inducing more fat oxidation. Now, the reason why we do injectable L-carnitine is because the majority, if not all oral L-carnitine, is just simply not bioavailable enough to do what it needs to do. Now, injectable L-carnitine is a phenomenal tool not only for the transportation of the fatty acids into the mitochondria, which again will promote more fat oxidation, fat burning. It also acts as a mild nootropic. So you have a cognitive boost from injectable L-carnitine. Alongside with that, you'll see a ton of improvement in insulin sensitivity. Now, your dosage and mileage may vary but we've seen very good results on 400 to 600 milligrams of injectable L-carnitine paired either with pre-fasted cardio or pre-workout intramuscular, a phenomenal tool. Next up, we have Yohimbine HCL and alpha Yohimbine, also known as Raulcine, blocking the alpha-2 adrenergic receptors, which will induce and facilitate fat loss, especially in those stubborn areas like those lower back around the kidney area, lower abdominals, and uh, legs for you females specifically. So this is a very good stimulant, uh, a stimulant aid in the fact that it will put you specifically in fight or flight essentially, and it will increase adrenaline. Now, caveat here with Yohimbine, especially Yohimbine HCL, it is really, really sensitive to a lot of people. So a lot of people are not able to take it the way that they need to, the milligram dosage per kilograms. So... Alpha Yohimbine has been shown to be a little more selective for those people that are very, very sensitive to Yohimbine HCL. My recommendation for my clients is always to go low and slow, start at one milligram and build your way up, pre-fasted cardio or pre-workout. Best taken on an empty stomach, usually in the morning, if you're doing said fasted cardio. However, I have seen that there's many individuals that just simply cannot take this on an empty stomach without getting nauseated. So instead of just throwing the baby out with the bath water, I would rather utilize it later in the day and we still see effective fat loss from that. All right, guys, we're going to dive into everyone's favorite new hot topic in an exercise memetic of SLUPP332. What is that? It's an ERRA, estrogen-related receptor agonist, exercise memetic, promoting mitochondrial biogenesis and increasing fat oxidation and improved energy expenditure all over. It's also been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and exercise tolerance. So you're actually going to get an enhancement in your overall performance and potentially treating for obesity and metabolic syndrome. So we see these applications through SLUPP332 ranging from dosages anywhere from 200 micrograms all the way to 600 micrograms or even 700 micrograms split evenly throughout the day. Now, I have utilized it for entertainment purposes only with my clients worldwide. We've seen a ton of success 
with little to no side effects whatsoever. Now, I will say there could be a hormonal shift due to the nature of it being estrogenic, again, being a non-selective estrogen-related receptor agonist. So you may see some things that uh, pop up with that and uh, you may wanna lower your dosage. Now, it's also been shown to improve type two diabetes due to the insulin sensitivity improvements that it shows, as well as heart failure, kidney disease, and cognitive dysfunction. Man, this is not only a powerful exercise mimetic and fat loss, fat oxidation, mitochondrial biogenesis, but you're getting a lot of secondary things that are extremely, extremely important in bodybuilding and fitness as a whole to reduce overall oxidative stress. Phenomenal tool. So your friend, SLUPP332, uh, we need to create another name for that because it's just too long for most people to even grasp is a great tool in the toolbox for a fat loss aid. All right, from there we have MOTC, which is enhancing, again, mitochondrial functionality, fat oxidation, and insulin sensitivity, playing a key role in metabolic flexibility and fat loss. Again, MOTC playing a role in mitochondrial functionality and insulin sensitivity. Are you seeing a pattern here? These two key players, mitochondrial functionality, which is increasing the NAD plus in your body, which is going to promote as well insulin sensitivity are all going to correlate together synergistically and induce more lipolysis, fat oxidation, and fat loss as a whole. The next one we have is 5-amino-1-MQ, which is inhibiting the NMT, increasing the NAD levels, like I spoke about before, which improves fat oxidation as a whole in reducing fat storages and enhances mitochondrial efficiency. So we're getting a lot of benefit on the mitochondrial level, and I think a lot of people are gonna start tapping into this in this industry, not only throughout a progression season or a gaining phase, but also in a maintenance phase, and of course, in a pre-contest phase, it is vital. This is something that has rarely been explored in this bodybuilding realm, in physique realms, is mitochondrial functionality. Now, if you touch on podcasts that are all over that are coming from more of a biohacker's mindset, more of a holistic approach, more of utilizing pharmacology outside of anabolics and androgenics, we're digging into peptides and using exercise mimetics and non-selective estrogen-related receptor agonists and all these other things combined to create improved mitochondrial function, which is also going to help with overall health, heart health. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, energy expenditure, cognitive functionality, and all things in between. The next one we're going to get into is retitrutide. Retitrutide being a glucagon receptor agonist, works by suppressing and slowing down gastric emptying. So obviously by slowing down gastric emptying, your appetite is going to be suppressed. And we know that adhering to a diet, executing a diet, for a long-term period is gonna come down to appetite, hunger management and control. Because we know that you have this hunger hormone dysregulation throughout the prep, throughout the diet, throughout the deficit, could come in the form of ghrelin, the hunger stimulant increasing, and also leptin, which is the hormone that signals your brain from the fat cells specifically, you are well-fed and satiated, will be shrinking. So now you have a hunger dysregulation hormone offset, and we need to be able to adhere to the program long-term and people are finding great benefits from using these GLP-1s. However, I will say a lot of side effects come from the liraglutides, the semaglutides, the trisepatide. They will come in the form of nausea. They will come in the form of feeling very lethargic. Now, people microdose it and they're being able to utilize these tools without getting a lot of side effects. But by utilizing retitrutide, you're getting tons of benefits outside of just it being the GLP-1 and slowing gastric emptying. We're also getting, of course, improved insulin sensitivity, which you will get from the rest. Uh, but you're also getting liver detoxification. And liver, being the biggest fat-burning organ in your body, is going to be a key player in improving insulin sensitivity and improving fat oxidation. Of course, the liver is what produces bile, which flows to your gallbladder. And without proper bile flow, you don't have the tools to be able to basically be the detergent for the liver. Cause the absorption of fats. 
cause the absorption of fat soluble vitamins as a whole. So now we go into micronutrient deficiencies. We're having insulin resistance. We're not able to burn fat efficiently. When we have a fatty liver, when we have elevated liver enzymes, ALT, AST, ALP, GGT, all these things that indicate on lab work that our liver is skewed, we will trickle into not only insulin resistance, we will trickle into lipids being off course, it's all going to correlate into these issues which will cascade and cause you not only to not lose fat, but a whole host of other issues. So this retitrutide has been very promising in being able to improve those areas as well. So you're getting a lot of benefit from not only using it for the appetite suppression, insulin sensitivity, liver cleansing, there's also been shown a lot of benefit in heart health functionality as well. So Redditrutide being a phenomenal tool, if you need it, microdosing it, start low and slow. I recommend one milligram two times a week to start off and build from there as you need until you find your sweet spot. Now remember, you will not be able to eat as much more than likely once you get to that said sweet spot. Protein's essential for muscle retention. So make sure you're always hitting your protein needs to retain as much tissue as possible, whether you're natural or whether you're not on androgenic anabolic performance enhancers. So we went through a quick list of different supplements, uh, different fat loss aids, different pharmacologies, different things that we can utilize into the mix. I left out certain things for a reason, just so you know. I also didn't touch on caffeine being one of the number one uh, thermogenics and also increasing performance uh, abilities and obviously having cognitive boost benefits. Listen, we all use caffeine for the most part, whether it be in the form of black coffee, espresso, green tea, yerba mate. Um, I personally use matcha green tea because I love the combination of caffeine and L-theanine. There's synergy. It creates nootropic effect. There's a high polyphenol antioxidant EGCG effect as well which is another tool for fat loss. There's a lot of different aids out there that can help you. Let me just preface by saying this, which I said at the top, if you don't have your nutrition dialed in, if you are not where you need to be as far as your macronutrient intake to be able to be in a deficit on certain days, to be able to refeed on certain days, to be able to really deplete on certain days, to be able to keep insulin sensitivity high, if you are not keeping up with your overall oxidative stress, stimulus to fatigue ratio with training, you're not able to sleep properly, which is, of course, we already know sleep. You're burning the majority of the fat. When you are sleeping, when you're resting, we don't want cortisol dysregulation working on you. We don't want your HPA axis uh, dysregulated, throwing off everything. You won't have long-term longevity sustainability. People ask me all the time, how do you stay lean all the time? And I tell them because I check all the boxes every day. I check all the boxes every single day. There's definitely some days where I will feel dysregulation and hunger, but I'm at the point where I've been able to really understand how the algorithm of my body works. I mean, we're talking over 20 years of experience and fine tuning my macronutrient intake with the amount of energy expenditure I need on a daily basis, keeping my non-exercise activity thermogenesis up, just walking in between you know, mentorship phone calls, client emails, client check-ins, filming for you guys, always getting my postprandial meal walks in, making sure that I'm staying insulin sensitive, which is why I have a CGM constant glucose monitor on for the last two weeks, just to kind of see, because I'm a nerd, I like to nerd out on this stuff, see how my body is uh, basically regulating itself with glucose, with the carbohydrates, the days that I eat a lot of carbs, the days that I drop it down, what's going on throughout the night, making sure my heart rate variability is uh, where it needs to be. My rest and recovery is priority because when you get yourself into too much of a fatigue-related stimulus to fatigue ratio with training, when you get too much into diet fatigue, when you're increasing overall oxidative stress, when you're dysregulated on cortisol, when you have elevated liver enzymes, skewed lipids, gut dysbiosis, leaky gut, all those things, again, will cascade together you will not burn fat properly and you definitely will not be able to do this long term. So make sure that those things are handled first and foremost. You check those boxes off each and every day. You adhere and you embrace the hunger when you're going through it. It's very important to change your mind and pivot to get that internal mindset fixated that when I'm hungry, I'm actually doing something positive right now. I'm in this uncomfortableness 
of being hungry and I'm gonna fixate my mind on something positive, it shifts things and it changes the trajectory of where you are and your mindset. And don't look at it as a negative, but you're looking at it as a positive and that changes everything. So guys, real quick, real brief rundown of some fat burning tools. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast episode. If you like what you're hearing, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for the next time I drop another video. I'm AJ Sims, and that is a full churn for fat loss aids. Until the next video, God bless.